Okay, so you're looking to buy in Los Angeles, but everywhere you look is just so expensive. Where are the cheaper places in LA County to live? Well, today I'm in Whittier, and guess what? If you're looking for something more affordable with a great family vibe and up and coming, right now I'm in Uptown, check out Whittier. Right now I'm on probably one of the longest high streets in all of LA County. There's so much to do here. There's some cinemas, there's restaurants, there's bars, there's lots of shops. Shops that have been here for a while, which is why the community vibe in Whittier is excellent. If you're looking to move to an affordable location, stay tuned for this video. I think it'll help you. I'm a big fan of Whittier. There's a historic district, so you know there's some good looking architecture, which is always a plus. Some great tree lined streets in the communities where you're gonna live and larger lots. I'm gonna be showing you the homes today, talking about the crime, the location, the schools. What is it like to live in Whittier? Come on, let's go find out, shall we? Population 88,000. Whittier is about just over 14 square miles, so it's not that big. Uh, if you look at it compared to Downey, they're very similar size, but Downey has about 130,000 people. So as you can see, there's a lot more space. If you want less hustle and bustle, check out Whittier. We're about 20 miles from downtown LA, 20 miles from Covina, about 20 miles from Anaheim, and 25 miles from Long Beach. So as you can see, the location, it's on the east side of LA. You're not necessarily close to anywhere. If you work in Santa Monica or want to be going to the beaches, for example, it's a bit of a trek. But because of that, the prices are lower. So if that's what you're looking for, affordability is top of the agenda. Whittier could be for you. And even if you want a sexy breakfast, Whittier has you covered. All right, I'm sure you're here because you want to see what the houses are like. So let's go look at the communities, see what you can get for 600,000, 700,000 and a million dollars and see if Whittier might be a place for you. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. And if you are looking to make a move in the next nine days or nine months, give me a call. I'm always happy to help. I love it when people from YouTube give me a call. Hope to hear from you. If we want to talk about crime, I just left my car unlocked for one hour with my laptop on my seat. Guess what? It's still there. That's a good sign. Okay, here we are, just a short drive from the high street. And we're in a beautiful neighborhood. And you might be like, Matt, why did you bring me to this beautiful neighborhood? I can't afford 1.2, 1.3 million dollar homes. And guess what? These homes that I'm gonna be showing you right now, you can get them for under a million bucks, over 2,000 square foot, seven, 8,000 square foot lots. In most of LA, these would be 1.5 million dollars plus, but not in Whittier. You can get a two bed condo in Whittier for under $400,000. If you have a $400,000 budget, you can get something pretty nice. The same with two bedroom homes. $600,000 will get you on the market. Yes, they're gonna be small, eight, 900 square foot. But if you're looking to get on the market, $600,000 for a two bed house, check out Whittier. And to be honest, it's the same with a three bed home as well. If you have $600,000, $625,000, you can get on the market. You can get in a decent home. Will it need some work? Potentially, but it's gonna be definitely livable. But this is why I wanna show you Whittier. You want a 1,500 square foot, three bed home? Guess what? You can get on the market $700,000, $750,000. Tell me where in LA you can do that. Real slim pickings in Whittier, absolutely possible. A million bucks will get you a home over two and a half thousand square foot. If you want a house over 3,000 square foot, but you think you're priced out, $1.2 million for a 3,000 square foot home. And house prices in Whittier go up to 2 million easily. There's plenty of homes in the 2 million range. And to be honest, there's homes even sold for five and $7 million. So if you have a budget up to $2 million, Whittier is gonna have a lot to offer you. And what I like about Whittier, which I don't say in a lot of neighborhoods in Orange County and Los Angeles, to be honest, the architecture. I love older looking designed homes. I think back in the day, the architects, the developers, they just put more effort, more love and more thought into building homes. Now, the homes in the 70s and 80s, they're kind of bland, they're kind of boring. It was like, who can we build as quickly as possible to save the most amount of money? But in Whittier, you've got the Craftsman, you've got Victorian. There's not many modern homes, to be honest. I think there's an opportunity if you're a developer wanting to buy and flip, Whittier could be a, 
great place for investments. Also, if you're looking to get on the market cheap, willing to do a bit of elbow grease, a little bit of leg work, you can find a lot of places in Whittier for very good prices, put some money in and see instant equity and either sell it or live in it and see appreciation. The fact that there aren't a lot of new builds, there's not a lot of homes being bought, torn down, developed and flipped. Now, why is that? Is it because people aren't seeing Whittier right now as a great place to invest, a great place to make money? Maybe, but the high street is gonna gentrify. They're bringing in the metro. It's not gonna be till 2035, but a metro stop's gonna be built here. More jobs, more people able to commute. So I think in the long run, Whittier is gonna gentrify, and I think new homes are gonna be um, built. There's new construction already going up. They're having to increase the amount of homes in Whittier because it is getting more and more popular. But it's still, I wouldn't say unknown, but it's still not an area, an it neighborhood where people are flocking to. However, could it be? Yes, with these low prices, when people kind of start doing their research and realize that for $750,000, they can get a $1 million home anywhere else in LA, more people are gonna move here. You know I love front doors. Take a look at this one. Whoa, boom. Look at that, nice looking house, but that front door makes it pop. Love it. So I've brought you a few minutes away from, uh, we were just in the historic district, obviously the homes there, I love the character. A few minutes away, away from the historic district, now you can kind of see what normal Whittier homes look like. Majority of bungalows, they're about 1100 to 1400 square foot, to be honest. Um, and they're all kind of the same. Big front yards, like I said, the lots are definitely bigger in Whittier. But there's a few, oh, it's very bright now. There's a few um, newer homes. People have come in and done work. Wide streets again, which I absolutely love. But yeah, this is kind of your quintessential Whittier street. Seven, eight hundred thousand dollars for a three bed. Can't beat that if you ask me. Good curb appeal, good community and nice looking homes, nothing fancy, but they're really, really well priced. And for a lot of people, that's more important than a fancy home. I'll tell you what, the more I walk around Whittier, the more I like it. Wide streets, beautiful tree-lined streets. Um, and because of the homes, the age of the homes, it feels like a community. It feels like a community that's been here a long time. There's plenty of neighborhoods in Los Angeles where people kind of come in and out. But um, what I love about Whittier, people are born and raised in Whittier. Uh, there's generations. So it has a great community vibe. Not all neighborhoods in Los Angeles have that. Whittier absolutely does. There's concerts in the park, a great community center, skater parks, there's a museum, there's even a zoo. So as you can see, if you do have young kids thinking of raising a family or starting a family, Whittier has a lot for you to do. There's also Palm Park if you want to go swimming, take the kids swimming, because we are quite a long way from the beaches. Um, and if you're having a party, you can even rent it out. That's kind of cool. And there's definitely a pride of ownership here. Like I said, people have been here a long time and people are in a place a long time. They want the community to improve. So the homes look good, the curb appeal look good. Yes, the homes are old. There's definitely signs of aging, but the curb appeal, the yards, they're all in decent shape. That's great for a community. There's four high schools in Whittier, two colleges. The high schools average about 25 people a class. That's pretty good. Once again, the schools have been here a while. Are they excellent? No, um, but people are happy with them. And like I always say, when it comes to schools, do your research, go on niche.com, go on other websites you might find. What I think is good in education might not be important to you. You might have other things top of the agenda. So my advice when it comes to schools, do not ask your realtor, do your own research. You don't want to be caught out. Crime is fine. It's nothing to write home about, but as you can see here, it's below the national average. Um, so yeah, crime is not excellent, but it's not bad. Um, Whittier has its own police force. If you ask me, that usually means faster response rates, I think. You don't have to call the LA County, you're calling your own people. I think that's a pro. Homelessness as well. There's some parts of LA where homelessness is out of control right now. What's it like in Whittier? It's pretty good. Don't get me wrong, there are definitely homeless people in Whittier. Is it perfect? No. Is it bad? I don't think so.
I love it when you see these come and grab a book and leave another book. If that doesn't scream community vibe, I don't know what does. Another pro about Whittier, you're right by the mountain. So if you want to do some outdoor activities, get the kids off the iPad. Look at the sun. I can't even hide from the sun right now. We're in the middle of December and the sun's out. It's about 80 degrees. I put a sweater on today. Bad decision. But um, yeah, if you want to be outside, take advantage of this beautiful weather. You've got the hikes, the trails, the biking, three golf courses. So when it comes to outdoor activities, Whittier kind of delivers. Also, you're closer to Big Bear than most of uh, the cities and the towns in Los Angeles. So if you want to go skiing, that's perfect. So um, yeah, want to be outside, want to get fit, Whittier could be for you. A grumble I do hear though from residents of Whittier, the freeways, depending on where you live in Whittier, it can take you 10, 15 minutes to get to the freeway. So if you do commute to work every day, the drive time could be bad. Just getting out of Whittier, not that easy. Walkability is okay. Like I said, you've got the huge high street, other areas, the historic district, the parks. So you can walk around, walk your dog, run your kids. Is it great? No. Is it bad? Absolutely not. Another thing I like about Whittier, parking. Yes, parking can be horrendous in Los Angeles. Street parking here is fine. And public parking as well. When you go to the shops, the cinemas, there's plenty of parking. I like that. It's not always easy to find parking in Whittier. It's pretty easy to be honest. Look at the roof on this house. I'm not sure if you can see, but it looks like something out of a movie, out of a Disney movie. <laughs> Loving that. If you ask me, no matter what your taste is, no matter what size home you're looking for, Whittier's going to deliver, and maybe for a lot less money than you think. You just want a smaller home under a thousand square foot. It's got it. But you know what I love about the homes here? There is so much character. Now, if you're looking for that cookie cutter, straight lined home that exists in a lot of Los Angeles, you're probably not gonna find it in Whittier. But if you want a home with character, a home that when you walk in, your friends are gonna go, wow, this is a really cool looking home. Come and check out Whittier. I'm so impressed. Maybe it reminds me of England a little bit. These homes are just so cool to look at. Um, yeah, put it on your radar if you're looking for homes under a million bucks. Also, you want a house with some views? Guess what? Whittier has you covered. Yes, they're going to be over a million bucks, but you want views that don't come with a huge price tag like some parts of LA? Check out Whittier. I'm really impressed with the housing options that Whittier has to offer, plus the crime in the schools as well. So if you are able to live on the east side of LA, maybe 30, 40 minutes from the main attractions. That doesn't put you off. Maybe you work from home. Check out Whittier. Maybe it's not on your top five list when you're researching where to live in LA. Should it be? If you have a budget under $1 million, I think it should be. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. And if you are moving to LA, you have any questions, give me a call, shoot me a text. I'm always happy to help. Hope to hear from you.